Here we are with Professor John Nash. Thank you very much for your time. Just a very quick question. Uh, in your studies, you established what are the fundamental uh, equations uh, for what is called today the Nash equilibrium. And uh, I wonder uh, how you feel after uh, a few decades for the field to have developed and uh, economy and society in general having hopefully absorbed the lessons of your studies. And my question is whether you feel that with the acceleration of change in our society and the impact of these changes, especially in technology, there is a need, and whether we are ready mathematically, to move to a dynamics in game theory of uh, what changing rules might represent within our own strategies and as it impacts the lives of individuals and groups. You speak of changing rules exist that were new. Yes. But uh, it's, is that exactly new? Well, uh, things have always changed, absolutely. Uh, and in biological terms, in economical terms, and in our societies, for sure. There are people who see that the rate of change has changed itself. There has been an acceleration it of change. It does seem so, yes. Do you yes. think this is uh, only a subjective perception or it is objective? No, I think it is objective. It's like the, the rate of population growth mm -hmm. has increased. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, from estimations of the time, population and society, time of the Roman Empire, succeeding dark ages or other times, renaissance, if you find most, there is growth. Yes. But it's slower. Centuries go and then more recently it's become very rapid. That's right. Another example is maybe how technologies emerge and their rapid uh, diffusion or uptake in society. Um, um, uh, the, the plow took thousands of years to be adopted, cell phones took 20 years to be almost universally adopted. It does seem so. Like the, it seems that the, the less advanced areas are able to learn very rapidly from the more advanced areas, particularly in regard to technology. Um, individuals have a, a finite capability of adapting to change. Uh, in the past, generations would pass before the impact was universally felt in a society. Today, it is upon each person to look after himself or herself and observe the change and try and adapt to this change. Well, the communications are going differently. If you have to wait for news to come on a steamship uh, from what's happening far, far away, you have to wait longer than if you wait just for a telegraph message. That's right, or an email, which is even faster. It's essentially a telegraph. Yes. Um, today, with the internet, we have the opportunity of communicating ideas with thousands or even millions of people simultaneously. And contrary to television, which is a unidirectional medium, we also receive their feedback, their commands, uh, uh, the uh, value of which actually can be ranked by relevance or authority. Um, and this shapes the way we form our ideas. Yes, true. So, do you think that from the quantitative accumulation of change there could be qualitative change as well? Could that imply, as I was trying and formulated before, a change in the rules of the game themselves? Well, again, now when you say that, there, there are always changes in the, like changes in law. That's what 
legislative bodies exist to change the law and mm -hmm. to modify, to add. Mm -hmm. and in detail, there is, I, I, I don't know what is new there. I don't think it's new. So you don't uh, see uh, qualitative changes, at least for the moment. Uh, uh, let me give you another example. Change, as you as you raise the temperature, new. there has been change. There is change. There let me let me see change. let me see if this example you the find is, applicable. What is change is new, but the process of change itself is not new. That's right. So when you boil a, a pot of water, for a long time nothing happens. As temperature raises from 10 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius, and then it, as it changes again at 95, 98, and then it stops growing because water becomes vapor and energy is used to vaporize it. That is true. And that is a, a paradigm change, That's right? A, a physics, physical process, yes. And, and there could be a, analogous changes in our societies where the rate of change as it accumulates causes a, a, a phase shift. Could, it could change in a different direction. That's, That's right. Possible. So mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. seemed very suggestive that you, you could have uh, revolutions, maybe like this. And that a certain time, there, there might be changes in society proceeding without revolution, and then it breaks down, and there's a revolution. The, the king is overthrown. Or a monarchy becomes a democracy. That's uh, less revolutionary. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so um, you have, of course, um, had a great impact in your field. Um, there has been recently um, this. Um, addition in your field, which is called uh, uh, the metagame theory. Um, have you had the chance of, uh, of uh, looking at it at all? And, uh, I don't know uh, that I mean, there have been metagames. Uh, the idea of metagame is maybe not so near, but I, I don't know what is metagame theory okay. in itself. Okay. Yes. Neither do I, so <laughs> we are on the same field there. It might have been used by somebody. Um, it, do you have any view on, on the current uh, status of the economy, of the macroeconomic uh, situation? I have, I have some ideas. I, I, I understand why the subprime mortgage crisis and some of these things came into existence, how, it, what, there were, how there were weaknesses, particularly in the American uh, financial system, that made it... Uh, Do you think that the current uh, uh, world global financial system is as weak as it was maybe uh, before 1929, or uh, not uh, that risky? I don't... I don't See that it's really better, and, and I don't know. So you are optimistic somewhat out of the of the outcome. I uh, I suspect you see that some of this is the United States of America, while the rest of the world seems really not disturbed. Affected. It's just like you're watching a storm that's mostly in a in a certain er in another area. So probably. Probably the world will mostly go along and ultimately the situation in the USA will stabilize partly by the good influence of the rest of the world. Thank you very much.